Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Apple. The report was first published on our website Tuesday, May 10, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Apple? In this video you will get insight in both the technical and the fundamental situation in addition to future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Our systems currently rank the Apple stock with a minus 1.817 score, and our system has ranked Apple sell candidates since May 9, 2022. In this period the stock has so far done better than what our systems expected and had a gain of 1.61%. This is an average return of 0.81%. In our daily updates for Apple our last headline reads, Red Day on Tuesday for Apple. No changes to the price of Apple stock on the last trading day, Tuesday, May 10, 2022. During the day the stock fluctuated 0% from a day low at $152.06 to a day high of $152.06. The price has risen in 5 of the last 10 days, but is still down by minus 3.02% for this period. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $182.94, and the lowest price was $122.25. Right now the price is 15.54%, or $28.43, below 52-week high and 76.28%, or $496.75, below all-time high June 6, 2014 where the price hit $651.26. The stock lies in the lower of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $147.49 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible minus 2.46% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 6.14% and 12.26%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 28.26% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 27.02% and 64.33%. This equals a price between $196.25 and $253.90 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Apple stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P-E ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Apple stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Apple. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, May 9, 2022, and so far it has fallen 0%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. The Apple stock holds sell signals from both short and long term moving averages, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long term average is above the short term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $157.38 and $166.66. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell on the last day without any changes to the price. This does not cause any direct divergence but may be an early warning and a possible turning point. The very low volume increases the risk and reduces the other technical signals issued. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a buy signal two days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal two days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal five days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 16 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a buy signal six days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal 20 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 15 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find 
Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $150.62 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and therefore the general risk is considered very low. However, be aware of low or falling volume and make sure to keep an eye on the stock during the last day, the stock moved $0 between high and low, or 0%. For the last week the stock has had a daily average volatility of 3.34%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Apple. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Apple currently has a price earning ratio of 27.19. This is a relatively normal price-to-earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Apple meets first resistance at $157.65. If you do not hold Apple shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Apple finds first level of support at $152.06 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Apple is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. The five latest insides trades have been done by Adams Catherine L., whom have bought and sold 10,548 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 28.405. In total, the insiders bought 1,959,959 and sold 3,528,303 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Apple stock a buy? Apple holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Wednesday 11th we expect Apple to open up 22 cents and start trading at $154.73. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Remember that anyone leaving a company stand the chance of winning a lifetime subscription worth $495 to our services. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.